What's up Gadgeteers, my name is Hector and this is Gadgetbeard and on this channel I unbox and review everyday tech, gadgets and accessories for you. And on today's video we have the ZTE Blade Max View and I'm going to show you how to integrate the expandable storage to make it adoptable storage. Now I currently have a 64 gigabyte uh, SD card inside the SIM tray so it's already in there uh, let's go ahead and walk through the process on how to set up the ex expandable storage as adoptable storage it's very quick and easy so basically it's gonna read out over here let's go to settings let's go to storage and let's uh, that's not storage let's go to storage and it's gonna see SD card there and then you're gonna do is click on you're going to click on Samsung SD card and click on setup. Now make sure that if you have any information in there that you want to save, make sure you transfer it or back it up to a different device. So you don't lose that information because uh, once it formats this SD card, it's going to erase everything from there. So let's go ahead and hit use. Uh, you have two options use as portable storage, meaning you can put music, movies and stuff, pull it in and out. You know what I'm saying? It's a separate storage from the integrated 32 gigabyte storage, or you can use as internal storage. So what internal storage means is it's gonna take your 32 gigabyte storage and the 64 and kind of combine it and utilize it as one. So it's gonna integrate the expandable storage as part of its internal storage. It's gonna put apps and stuff like that and, and you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. Uh, by far, probably the best way to go uh, because you can add more apps and stuff like that. Uh, you can download everything you want and, and then basically you have like, um, a hundred gig phone basically uh, a little less uh, 64 and 32 but somewhere about a hundred gigabytes of storage on the phone let's go ahead and hit next so now the, this is where it tells you it's gonna format that internal storage so it's gonna erase everything erase and format now we're gonna just let it do its thing right here it's about 20% relatively this takes about a minute or so uh, it's already at 40 let's go ahead and let it do its thing and then we're going to move on to the next step so now that it's already done that so it's going to ask you to move data to new storage so you can move your photos files and some apps to the uh, new samsung sd card uh, so let's go ahead and move now uh basically it, it prevents your internal storage from getting bogged down and making the phone work slower so this is going to make the phone actually faster let's go ahead and hit next and then let's go ahead and hit move and it said in the beginning it's going to take about two to three minutes let's see how fast it actually takes uh it looks like it's going to be a little faster than that it's already at 30 percent uh, but uh, let's go ahead and let us do its thing and then we'll come back once it's done. So we're back now. It's done set up, uh, moving over some apps and photos and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and hit done. And as you can see, we're completely done now. Now what it's doing here is it's showing you next time you go to storage, it's going to show you your Samsung SD card, how much you have used from there, and then how much you have available. Um, it says you you have a 64 gigabyte card. You used about two gigs, and on, on the phone itself, on the internal storage, you have about 32, and you have a, used about 13. But don't pay attention to that because the main part is right here: is you have used 15.14 gigabytes of a combined. 96 gigabytes of storage so this is where it's at when you set up the expandable storage as uh, adoptable storage uh, it basically makes it as part of the internal storage and overall makes the phone run a lot smoother a lot faster because it doesn't limit the internal storage so you're not limited to 32 gigabytes you have the full range of the 96 gigabytes combined together uh, there you have it guys leave a comment in the section below if you have any questions in regards to this setup process or if you have any questions in regards to the ZTE blade max view also if you have questions you can also hit up the Z community uh, make sure you I'll leave the link in the description as well make sure you go sign up register if you have any questions in regards to any ZTE uh, product phone smartwatch or anything they've recently released Make sure you go down there and uh, there's a lot of people out there 
who are knowledgeable about their product and they'll be happily to help you and answer that question. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And like always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.